Welcome to the Real-Time Gateway RTG Personal Lines Property New Business Training Tutorial. In this 13-minute tutorial, you will learn about property new business. RTG is our online broker portal available to brokers for property and auto, policy inquiry, and new business issuance. The portal is integrated with some broker management systems. For more information on upload or adding new users, contact your marketing rep or an underwriter. This demo is designed to get you familiar with our portal, so let's get started. Add the RTG website address into your favorites for quick access, or for a direct link, go to www.portagemutual.com. Under the Brokers drop-down, select Real-Time Gateway RTG. The landing page is where you log on. Your user ID is your email address, and your password is one that you will set up and maintain. In the event that you ever forget your password or need to change your password, the direct links for you to do either are right on this page. The My Options menu allows you to select what you would like to do. Start a new property policy, do a policy inquiry, check your work in progress. Let's start a new property policy. Our portal is designed based on the CSU application. The top of the screen currently shows the pages in the General Information section. There are multiple pages that you will find labeled in each section along the top and left side menu. Mandatory fields are marked with a red asterisk. There is no force workflow, so you can skip over pages and go back as you need. Every time you move to a new page, the application will automatically save, but on each page there is a save, close, and rate button. The broker client ID is your BMS client download code. Your broker number is a four-digit numerical code. Make sure you enter your full name so an underwriter knows who to contact if needed. The total estimated policy premium is the premium you've quoted your client. This allows us to override to match your premium. The client information page is an example of a page where many fields are optional. Make sure to take note of mandatory fields so that you're completing all the information that we do require in order to rate a policy. Occupation is an optional field, but does provide a drop-down list. This page is looking for the mailing address. If the mailing address is a box number, put PO in the street number field, and then box in the box number in the street name field. Previous address is only required if the occupancy is less than three years. Enter the credit score information for the named insured that's listed on this page. For one or more co-insureds, enter their information individually on this page. For each co-insured, make sure you select Add Change so the co-insured will appear in the summary section. The Policy History page is where you will indicate if the insured is a first-time insured or the name and expiry of their previous insurance policy, as well as if any company has refused the insured in the past five years. Please note that not all companies are shown in the company drop-down. You can enter the name of the prior company if it is not available. In the cross-reference information section, indicate if the insured has any other policy with us. Under the broker information page, answer the questionnaire. Again, you'll note, not all questions are mandatory. Now that we're done with general information, let's move on to risk information. Select add location, and then select same as postal address, if the postal address is the same as the mailing address. Manually select the rating territory, and then complete the remainder of the fields on this page as is applicable. Again, notice that not all fields are mandatory, but the more information we have, the better we'll be able to rate the policy. Under the heating page, make sure that you're providing the primary heating source and the primary fuel at the very minimum. If you have additional information, enter it here. Renovations, complete the heating, roofing, electrical, and plumbing details on this page. If the building is older than 35 years, the renovations page must be completed in full. On this page is where you'll indicate if there's a security system. However, if there is no security system, you can skip over this page entirely. 
Now that we're done with risk information, if applicable, let's move on to additional interests. This page is where you enter either a mortgagee and or an additional named insured. For mortgagee, select mortgagee and then enter the name of the financial institution and complete address. Don't forget to select the Add Change button so that your additional interest is added to the policy as indicated in the summary section above. For an additional named insured, select additional interest. Put their name as well as reason. For example, contents and liability. And again, add change. Let's move on to the coverages section. Select your package type from the drop down. If you choose the wrong package, select Substitute Package and choose the correct package type. Enter the deductible and limits. Outbuildings, contents, and standard liability limits will be calculated when the policy is rated. However, if you do want higher limits, make sure you enter them here. Also ensure that you have provided full evaluator information on all homeowners packages, including the rebuilding cost shown on the evaluator, the type of evaluator, and the date that that evaluator was completed. Additional coverages is for any endorsements that should be added to a package. Select the endorsement type from the Select Coverage drop-down, and when applicable, also enter the amount of insurance. Don't forget to hit the Add Change button for each endorsement. Also remember that each endorsement has to be added individually. However, endorsements that are automatically included in packages, like mass evacuation under an enhanced package, do not have to be added in the portal. Make sure all endorsements appear in the summary list before moving to the next page. The sewer questionnaire page must be completed when sewer backup is selected in Manitoba. In all other provinces, there may be circumstances when an underwriter requests the protection information from you. If there are any increased liability exposures to be noted on the application, enter them on this page. Scheduled articles is where you will add items like jewelry, furs, or cameras. For each article, select the category and the coverage, enter in a description, and where applicable, indicate either the purchase date or appraisal date, and then of course, the amount of insurance. Once again, make sure you hit Add Change Article and make sure that the article appears in the summary screen above. Return to the schedule summary will take you back to a full summary screen that provides the total number of items scheduled to each category type. To add a boat and motor, go to the watercraft page and select Add Watercraft. We know that this page can be somewhat overwhelming. However, in order to rate and submit a watercraft through the portal, you will need to indicate the type of watercraft, which is the type of category of boat, such as a canoe or inboard outboard boat. You also have to provide the length, horsepower, maximum speed, and the perils insured. If adding an outboard boat and motor, the boat and motor must be scheduled separately as item number one and item number two. For each, the class, year built, name of the manufacturer, model type, serial number, amount of insurance, and deductible are all required fields. Lastly, make sure your deductibles are the same for each item so you don't receive an error. Once you select Add Change Watercraft, the watercraft has been added to the schedule summary. To schedule a travel trailer or trailer contents, go to this page. Trailer coverage is only available in certain provinces. If scheduling a trailer, the description must include the year, manufacturer, model and serial number, as well as the amount of insurance and deductible in the number one category. To schedule contents, Enter in the number two category, provide a brief description of the contents being added, and if adding along with a trailer, ensure the deductible amounts are the same. Once you select Add Change Travel Trailer, the trailer and our contents have been added to the schedule summary. Now that we're done with coverages, let's move on to discounts. 
Some discounts do add automatically when the policy is rated. However, we suggest as good practice, since not all are automatic, you add each discount that the policy qualifies for. Remember to select Add Change for each and to review that all discounts appear in the summary above. The percentage field will populate when rated and so is not a required field. Loss claims is where you would indicate if there has been any losses in the past five years, just as you would do on a CSU application. Please provide the loss date, the location, the cause of the loss, whether or not the claim is settled, the amount paid, and the name of the company. Once completed, select Add Change. The Remarks page is a page where you can add additional remarks or special instructions and notes that you may or may not do in your current process. Collaboration Notes is another section for notes where you are able to add a note to be reviewed by an underwriter. Add your note in the Note field and then select Add Save. An indicator will show to underwriting that you have added a note for their review. We have now completed entering an application. Select Rate on the bottom right hand corner of the page. If you have missed any mandatory fields, you will be taken to the Data Entry Errors page that will have a list of links to the pages where information is missing. In the top right hand corner is the reference number. This is not the policy number, but instead a portal reference number. On the Underwriting Issues page is all the issues that will be reviewed by underwriting. Select Continue to go to the Rate Information page. This provides you a summary of the rate that was provided through the portal. Also shows you that credit score has or has not been ordered. You can select Print Rate Information, which will print this page, or Print Application. Continue on to the Payment Method Submit page. This is the last page of the application. Select your payment plan, and now we're ready to submit. Submit and Print will submit the application and also provide you with a copy of the PDF CZO application. However, if you don't need a PDF application from the portal, just select Submit. Once the application is received through the portal, you will receive a message. This application has been submitted. Thank you for your submission.